for human deep space. You're joining Euronews now as we cross live to orbit to the International Space Station. And we can see here the six astronauts who are currently on Expedition 45 aboard the ISS, who are participating in a news conference to mark the start of continuous work by humans aboard the laboratory 15 years ago. And we cross now to hear what they're saying. And we, uh, you know, work with the ground and their, uh, you know, ability to, to, uh, you know, maintain uh, this environment using a certain level of discipline and procedures and operations that is, you know, all of that is something we're going to need to explore uh, space, deeper into space for longer periods of time. So I think that's the best uh, utilization. And there's other benefits, many other benefits from the space station as well, but as far as you know, long-term uh, exploration goals, that's the, uh, the most important aspect of it for me. And I absolutely agree with, uh, with Scott. I think the, the space station really is a, a bridge. It's a, a test bed for the technologies that we need to um, develop and understand in order to have a successful trip uh, to Mars. Um, of course, this is, a, this is an international laboratory. It's a place where we're conducting science and experiments. Over the time that uh, Kimi and Oleg and I are up here, we'll see 240 experiments. And, and I think Scott and Misha, um, during their one year in space, will see over 400 experiments. And, and a lot of those are critical, again, to our understanding of uh, how human physiology uh, adapts to um, this microgravity environment and the things that we need to do to protect uh, human health um, for a long trip uh, to Mars with respect to, to muscle, uh, bone, immune system, um, health, and, uh, and radiation health as well. Hi, happy anniversary. It's Clayton Sandell at ABC News. I was curious, on Earth, a car that's 15 years old shows its age uh, in many ways, and I'm curious uh, about maintenance on the station. How is the station holding up? Are you doing more maintenance uh, in, as part of your day than, than you would like? Um, and then second, being the crystal anniversary, have you given each other any gifts? Well, the last time I was here was uh, about five years ago, four or five years ago. And it doesn't seem to me like I'm doing any more maintenance on the space station than we did then. So, and, and that was, a, you know, basically a third of the the lifetime ago for, for human occupation of the, the space station. Um, I thought when I got on board this time, the material condition of the space station was very good. Um, but, you know, obviously as things age, you know, over time we're going to have more uh, maintenance requirements. But, you know, the good news is we plan for that. We have a lot of spares on board, spare parts, spare parts outside. We have, uh, you know, plans for, for changing those things and, uh, you know, keeping this space station flying a long time into the future. And as far as uh, gifts, no, we haven't done that yet. Um, but it is a, a very important anniversary for this, uh, this incredible facility, nonetheless. Hi, Robert Perlman with CollectSpace.com. A couple of days ago, I had a chance to talk to Expedition One Commander Bill Shepard and asked him what he would ask you. And so he suggested, um, what have we learned from the space station that will be carried forward uh, to change the way that we do space exploration forevermore? What will be the lesson or lessons that we've learned uh, the past 15 years that has changed the way we do spaceflight? Well, you know, like, like I was saying to Mark Corot, I think one of the important things about this space station is it's a you know, a long-term presence in space that is, uh, you know, requires life support systems, electrical systems, procedures, and, uh, you know, the science we... Hey, we're having an audio problem up here that we're going to have to take care of. Just stand by, Robert. And as you can hear, there are audio problems currently between yeah, so, the live link up yeah, we were having a big with the ISS, here, which has now been resolved. So we cross back to Commander it's Scott it's Kelly to it's hear resolved, the rest of his answer. From this, uh, you know, this uh, space station, 
that uh, is very, very important to our, our future uh, exploration uh, beyond our, uh, you know, our local environment here, uh, beyond low Earth orbit.